Hey guys, so in this video I just wanted to show you how I play Microfat level 34. Maybe it will be useful to you, I want to share some strategies and some routine with you and maybe you will give me some more tips on how I can develop Microfat in turn. Recording this video on Thursday, I have Liam, Diago has already left me, so no more flood, which is quite sad. And here are my resources, I really have a lot of coins, because, well, actually guys, I don't spend much, because I already have spent a lot in my previous updates and in my previous game. I have earned 42,000 coins, so it's pretty decent, I think. And if you ask Fernando about the tips, you need to sum up all of the different tips if you have different styles, so my tips are around 29. 900. Besides that, I have boosted my coffee with La Esmeralda. I use that extend automatically tick. And for one week, my profit from the drinks with coffee increased by 100%. You can do the same with the tea drinks. I know that at level 34 and especially at level 33, players have issues with collecting money on the soda machine, especially when you have the Yagos orders or with sweet rolls. So you can really activate your special tea and coffee varieties or you can purchase the equipment with installments, which also will be cheaper and at least you will be able to fulfill some of the recipes. Besides, all of the special recipes will become available straight away even with the basic equipment. I definitely make a lot of phone orders per day guys because they're the best ways to earn spices. Let me accept this one for Galenga as well. And I have three baristas and two servers and this way I can assign two baristas and one server to my phone orders and two of the guys will just work as usual and I will be able to collect the recipes from my customers. But yes, I have heard all the stuff that brings me gold spices. This is very convenient. I did it long ago. It took me quite a time to collect all of them, but this is really worth your investment. We all need spices, especially gold spices, because Liam's orders are usually of gold or blue color. Actually, speaking about Liam and the bunny, and for now they will be coming twice a week, from Wednesday to Friday and from Saturday till Monday, which actually makes it possible for us to collect even more, and this will be easier to combine it with our township strategies, with our festival strategies as well, which is also really nice. In this setting, I have gems here, 100 gems. Yeah, I know that most of the time we really need gifts, but sometimes we really need gems, and for that reason we open the gifts and we don't find enough gems there, at least as much as we want. So 100 gems may be really needed for that. The second part of the Bonnie game here has a gold gift, which is also really nice, and I have been able to collect a lot of gifts from the Bonnie that I've spent the tickets, and this is what I currently have. So this makes me happy about that. I don't have to purchase spices anymore. I guess I really need to work on the gold spice because I really feel it's shortage just as all of us. You can find gold in the phone orders sometimes. It is really a part of luck. You can also find spices in different kinds of gifts, but they're also very rare. So just when you find them, you will be lucky. Don't rely on simple gifts, on pink gifts, on blue gifts, and on gold gifts for getting the gold spice. You really need to get to the end of the bunch to get it. I am actually saving up my gems for the uh, several cup equipment. Uh, this is for the sweet rolls and for the soda machine and so far I don't have enough of that. For that reason I have also purchased the magical flowers with the personal tasks that bring us a lot of trophies. It has become really easy to get to level 3 and actually if I were to recommend whether to invest real money into the game or not and where to do that, I would really recommend investing into the sea seasonal items because they really bring you a lot of gems. Actually, taking a look at the special offers, what can I say? Well, you decide for yourself whether you need the bonuses or not, but I'd also love to show you some of the special offers that I personally adore. Catch the wave thing because five gold gifts, two blue gifts and two pink gifts and 300 gems is also very nice because only the sum of those gifts is more expensive than that, than that special offer. So buying gifts in the special offers is much more profitable than that. I also love this one, get diamonds for free, you can watch a video. I have watched the video and got two gems. Well, that is not bad. You can also purchase tickets there, that's all right. You can get really a lot of tickets for passing the bunny game. Yeah, so this is probably it about the special offers here. Spend the gems on purchasing Violet the Musician, but in this bunny game as well, I have noticed something that would really be nice. By the end of the board, you will be able to get that musician as well, if you're lucky enough. 
yeah also speaking about the gold spice you can also find it here so this is what I have I never miss my chance to play the daily bonus first one for free and the second one for watching the ads well it doesn't require anything but still it stores some of your resources in really a nice way so the strategy is that you get into the game and just for five ten minutes and then you do everything you can to get more and more resources who knows maybe you will be lucky and small things really make up for a big one i also fulfill the special orders from my customers because i have a strategy that i try to get at least a ticket or a simple gift if i don't have enough spices i ask for something else we have three elite members in our township i will tell you about my township a little bit later in this video so for that reason i try to ask them for something else Else. sometimes really they ask for two simple orders like anise lemon and chocolate syrup and then they start asking for gold and I have plenty of them because I have stuff that brings me gold I think I have actually upgraded them I spent diamonds on upgrading them because I want them to bring me two servings of each spice every day in that case I have 14 of each spice every week plus I do the phone orders and township orders yeah this is what we face sometimes and this is what a lot of us are not happy about not all of us can do that but you can just switch to another customer because we have eight of them we have a lot of rose petals and anise I don't actually regard them as something really hard to get because I also have Anne who brings me two simple gifts every day plus I get a lot of simple gifts from doing my special orders especially on festivals I just take a look at what I have hot chocolate with ginseng and lemon I just have six of ginseng so I don't really want to spend it but I have 20 of galangal I'll better serve a galangal tea to him this is how I play okay there is your special order and then I have ginseng americano but I want to do something else and it's americano with saffron cardamom so I just serve it like that to him so this is how I got my simple gift for that. And I always check the fifth order because sometimes it can be gold, but sometimes it may be not gold. And this is how I will get my ticket for the bunny. Actually, getting tickets for the bunny has become really easier right now because honestly, I don't really like spending a lot of spices on the tickets too. But I still have managed to get 19 tickets. I have managed to collect them in my previous festival, though last festival I spent 30 of them on the bunny game and it was just zero. I also took a task to serve 10 gold spices and I replace them with 10 tickets which is also nice and this is how I can play the bunny again this is all about it you cannot just store your resources forever and be upset when you run out of some resources because in that case first you have fun from the game and second you just get other resources that you would love to collect let's go to my township though and I wanted to show you the progress of my town mates and to show you that it's actually possible to stay even in the diamond league although it's not really easy for us we drop back to caramel we drop back to chocolate league but still we have managed to fight our way back and I would say that not all of us are actually VIP 7s this is actually our township result for the from the previous fast this is not really much in the Diamond League I know a lot of stronger townships that have to fight with stronger opponents the reason is that townships are combined by the amount of trophies that they have gained in the previous festivals each of the time you will be able to face the opponents that are suitable for you you know sometimes I even ask my townmates not to make as many cups because then we will be shifted to some stronger towns and some stronger opponents this is not what we need actually so our strategy is not to gain a lot of cups but to stay in the league speaking of my town mates not all of them have higher VIPs like some of them are VIP 4 some of them are VIP 0 and we split the tasks in the festivals because we have people who just do common tasks and clear the way for high profitable tasks and those guys with higher VIPs do that as you see not all of us are really strong some Sometimes we just do three tasks but this is how it works for us and we are happy with that as for our treasure trove we do have spices we usually send them to those guys who ask for spices with lower VIPs for instance but our gold gift shelf is still unlocked and we are striving to get it this is our main goal for now we don't even know what we are going to do with the gold spice yeah but we'll get there gradually we are having fun from the game we are not striving to get everything at once and we have resources and goals to upgrade our town so there are 19 of us so it's a comfortable amount of players to get into the game our township is open so so we accept any player in the description it's in Russian but I'll tell you that it's obligatory to take part in festivals but we only give rewards to those guys who do all of their free tasks 
We also help with the resources, but definitely we do not give a gold gift or a blue gift to someone who just joined town. You just need to deserve it. We are not really high in the rating. You know, my township is really an old one. It's from 2016, but we don't rush anywhere. We're just having fun from what we do. I just want to say thank you to my town mates as well. Let's refresh our list of the phone orders. I don't really want to make this one with the rose petals because the outcome is too small, but I need time to do something better. I just spent 10 gems to refresh the order list and here I have tapioca, ginseng and ginseng again. I'd better accept something and assign my stuff to it and just leave it for some time. It is really done really quick. Actually guys this is it. If you have any more questions that you want to ask about how I play my cafe but maybe my VIP level gives me a lot of privileges and the game is easier for me than for other players. So in my next videos I would love to show you some more strategies but with lower VIP levels. Maybe with some cafes of yours so if you want your cafe to be chosen and shown to other players, then send me your player IDs and indicate that you want me to observe your cafe and to give you some tips on how you can develop it. Then I will choose one of the IDs randomly and to see what you have in your cafe and maybe give you some tips on how it can be played. I'm really interested in VIP 0 to 4 maybe, because this way it will be more diverse and it will be more interesting to us. And with this suggestion I'm going to finish my video and thank you very much for watching it.